just giving me kisses and I turned on the camera and she's like, no, I don't think I'm going to give you any kisses. I got you. I just filmed you guys a whole video. Did you hear it and like it? No, because I forgot to press the record button. That is very important. It has been busy with that new arm. Look at that. We have got some firewood going on and some tree trimming apparently. I am enjoying a kind of overcast day here in the Pacific Northwest. The sun is coming from right up there, so it's a little squinty in my eyes. But I've done a, a current video. The, the most recent repotting videos you've seen were recorded a, a month ago. Don't tell anyone. I, um, I wanted to give you a little update. Let me walk you up to my blooming blackberries are getting black and we tested one yesterday so sweet let's see if we can find them again today do you see them our summer is a little bit cool you know it takes forever for the vegetables and the fruits to get ripe here but when they do <laughs> it's the end of august maybe in september i'll have some tomatoes i know everywhere else in the in the u.s it, the, they are ripe and falling off the vine you've probably already made your spaghetti sauces for the year and canned them but here i'm just waiting <laughs> and waiting i did eat some little cherry tomatoes they're orange variety very sweet very sweet i know that i started the seedlings with you in my grow room so i wanted to share that with you that they are coming along there is life but it's slow 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 kind of like my life is sometimes i think i'm not making any progress sometimes i think this migraines are going to last forever but i looked on my uh, migraine app my migraine buddy app yesterday and today marks seven full days in a row where I have not had a migraine. So I am very thankful for that. I feel like they're every day, but there is breaks in the the month where they just don't show up. And migraines, I'm thankful for that. But you know, when you're going through it, it is very, very hard. And then you come out of it and you're like slow and steady, one foot in front of the other. And that's what I've been doing, just really slow and steady. I'm, I'm very tired. I go to bed super early. My husband laughs at me in the evening news time. He's like, ah, oh, it's about that six o'clock hour. You're probably crawling into bed. And I'm like, oh, I am. But you got to do what your body says to do in order to heal and to regain strength. I have other areas of my body that are fighting with me right now. Um, you know, they bombard your immune system and you're like, oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. So when your body says rest, that's what you do. And I've been going through a lot of fun books, so that's a good thing. Um, learning is always a good thing to do. One of the books I read recently uh, informed me of something I never knew about. And it, I, I apologize for not knowing fully the, the correct name. It was The Book Woman of Troublesome County, maybe? No, a fictional story about very factual things. And one was about uh, the fact that there were people in Kentucky who had blue-toned skin. And I had never, never heard about that in history or in any any of the books I've ever read but they were discriminated against just like uh, colored people were um, in the country and the culture and the whole environment there but they lived in the the hills of Kentucky and kind of kept to themselves and it, it turned out to be an enzyme deficiency in their blood there's a big long word I'll put it on the screen metho something 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 yeah. And there, there was or is a cure for it, but the story was very informative for me. I learned a lot and I just want to share it with you in case you too had never heard of that. Um, that's one of the things I've been doing is catching up on books and life is going well. I am taking it slow, slower than I wish. I have other ailments that are... Um, 
bugging me and, and slowing me down and keeping me at a pace that I wish I didn't have to keep, which is slow and steady, slow and steady. But I'm not the only one out there doing that. And I know that's why some of you watch my channel is because you are going slow and steady and you just want to make sure that you're not alone in the, in the journey. And well, I'm there with you. Slow and steady. We'll get through this course we call life. I am looking forward to tonight. We have a celebration going on. Do, 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 do. My daughter has landed the job of her dreams after coming out of college and she was offered it this last week and she is finalizing her present job today and tonight we celebrate. And um, unfortunately, there's a fearsome five here. We got my husband, myself, my daughter and her fiance and grandma. Hello, mama out there. There's five of us and we do things together because we all live in the same town. That's pretty much our COVID bubble of companionship. You know, I don't, I don't get out, I don't do much, but when we do stuff, it's usually here on my patio outdoors and we just get a lot of airflow and a lot of space because, um, you know, we all kind of go to the grocery store and we do our own little bits and we just don't want to bring that, Delta variant into any one of our lives but we are crossing our fingers and going to an outdoor patio seating restaurant tonight that's on the waterfront the winds from the lakes are there and we're sitting outside and we're gonna celebrate my daughter and her new job tonight to get together with family, to love on them, to share your love with them, to just celebrate in the joys of their life I have one orchid that has bloomed for me. It's one of my top shelf phalaenopsises. She turned out to be a yellow and maroon pink lip in my downstairs, just shining her little gorgeous self. But nothing really is freshly growing in my uh, freshly blooming in my orchid room. I have old blooms that you have seen before or I have tons and tons of roots growing and uh, in fact I do have one orchid that I'm gonna ask you Todd if you have it. Todd it's tropicals very knowledgeable has been doing orchids for years and he lives in Florida where it's hot very hot and very tropically but I have my two Elizabeth Bond Royal Flare um, Catalea hybrid type plants and those things are monsters they keep growing they keep getting more and more roots and the leaves are pretty beautiful but no blooms I didn't get any this year and I'm wondering if I'll get any next year and if I don't get any next year I might be sending them your way I don't know if they require a lot more heat than I give it but my orchid room only gets up to the mid 70s to maybe low 80s unless we're in a hot streak and as you can see with the clouds we're not in a hot streak we're in a kind of 75 ish or lower temperature range right now but that is one that I cannot get to bloom and I thought surely I would see blooms this year but I will look into it some more. But I thought I'd ask you if you have the Mary Elizabeth Bond Royal, I think it's Royal Flair. I've never seen flowers on her. But I will show you a picture of her and I'll show you my yellow Phalaenopsis. I asked my dear sweet husband to name her. I think that'll be the last time I ask him to name her. He named her Yella, as in J Y E L L. A, like yella, but jayella or halala or anyway. I'm glad he wasn't the sole reason that our kids got the names that they did. Anyway, I thank you for spending some time with me today. Remember, it's a slow process some days, and some days you don't see much growth, but it's going on on the inside. You rest when you need to, you rejoice when you can, and you keep moving forward. Until we talk again, love and peace. Bye-bye.